morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog it is about 10 30 in the morning everybody's dressed and ready to go i actually have to leave and go to lowe's to pick up my favorite cleaner i've been out for a couple of days now so i really need to get some it has just become my favorite cleaner and the only place i can find it is lowe's so i'm going to run there pick up a couple of bottles of that and then i'm going to stop by another store and get things to make sandwiches for lunch today i think we're just going to do some sandwiches and um, i'll probably just start stop by our little country store grab some stuff to make sandwiches, come back home and make lunch. We actually have someone painting in our house today, but they're painting in the basement, so they're not upstairs or anything. Um, so they're gonna be down there all day painting the basement. In the next few days, they're gonna move upstairs and paint our dining room, our living room, and our kitchen. It's all gonna probably be the same color, which is gray. Um, our old house was gray, and I just like the gray. Right now, we have white walls except for this wall that Josh painted a while back, of the accent wall. Um, and we're going to leave that one. But the other walls will more than likely just be a gray color. So, we're getting the house painted this week. We actually scheduled this well before Millie was born. Like four weeks before she was born. So, he's doing that now. Oh, and we're also going to get our kitchen cabinets painted. I'm going to get those painted white. We have brown right now. Um, and he gave us a really good price to do like all of this all together. So, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see what the cabinets are going to look like once they're painted. But I'm not sure if he'll get to that this week or next week. We'll see, I guess. But anyway, remember on last night's vlog, I told y'all that I went to Hobby Lobby looking for a table. Um, I found one. Josh was able to go pick it up Saturday night. So, I'm going to show it to you real quick. Then Natalie wants to show her little heart sticker. She's been making crafts this morning. Okay, so this is the table that I went with. Um, there was three options. One of them was way too long for our living room. The other one was... Um, one of the doors was kind of broke on it. I mean, they had one there that the door wasn't broke, but I was just afraid with kids opening back and forth, it would break here too. So we didn't go with that one. So this was the third one, um, which I really like it. I like how it's a little bit shorter and takes up less living room space. It was originally gonna go beside our door over there, um, but I really like it right here in front of the window with our recliner there and then my rocking chair there. And that's Millie's swing that we finally, found the cord for so that she can use it. Anyway, um, right now all I have is the lamp on it and then this book basket. The other day, actually yesterday, I was gathering up some fall books and just sticking them in here for when we start school back and for them just to be here when the girls um, just want to read. So I got a pumpkin book in there, fall weather, the runaway pumpkin, and then this is my teacher's guide because we're using my father's world this year. So I went ahead and stuck it there just in case I'm sitting here I can just pull it out and look and highlight whatever I need to. And then the Chicka Chicka Boom Boom book. And we'll add more books to it. And that's Josh's Bible. And just a couple little activity pads in there. But anyway, um, we'll add more to that. Especially some of our My Father's World books. But that's just what I have in there for now. And then it has three drawers right here on it. And this door actually slides. And I'm thinking about putting Bethany's kindergarten books in there. Um, so that I can have her books in there. You want to slide it open for us? So, as you can tell, there's two shelves in there that I'm thinking about either putting extra books in there or Bethany's kindergarten books. Thank you. Matt. This is her bracelet. Um, Holly and Emily got bracelet makers and they've been making everybody these little rubber band bracelets, which is so cute. I got my spray, but I also got some air fresheners. I bought these the last time I was in Lowe's and got spray, but I got a different scent this time. This time they're the Febreze and they like just clip in your um, little air vents. And I got the, the clean linen smell this time. Last time I got Old Spice, which smelled really good. This one smells good too. I can't wait. I hope they come out with like an apple or a pumpkin or something like that. That would be so cool to have your 
car smell like fall, but I just put them both in and they both smell really good. So I've got one here in this van and one of that van. You can actually get a two pack or a three pack, but I just always get the two pack and put them in these two front vents and they smell so good and it lasts, I wanna say like two to three weeks. I mean, it smells good for a long time and you can adjust it up here. So you can put it on low, medium or high, just depends on how much scent you want to come out at a time. So here's lunch. I've actually already started eating on it, but we just got some of this homemade bread from our little country store. It's turkey and cheese, a little bit of mayonnaise and red wine vinegar, potato chips, um, and some of the girls got turkey sandwiches and then some of them got peanut butter jelly sandwiches. And then I'm just drinking some lemonade, watered down lemonade actually. So I put water in there and then lemonade with some crushed ice. I have not had Cokes or Pepsis or teas in almost two weeks y'all, like almost two weeks. I'm doing good with that again. So I'm trying to up my water intake with all my meals. Okay, so we've been back home for a little while now. It's actually almost three. Um, while everybody's kind of doing their own thing right now, some are watching a TV show, some are making bracelets. Emily wanted to hold Millie, so she's holding Millie while she's falling asleep. One thing that I have neglected since the baby has been born is my bedroom. My bedroom is upstairs, and the only time I come up here is to pretty much go to bed at night. Like seriously, lately, like I've been downstairs all day, when it's time to go to bed, I'll bring Millie up and you know, we'll come up in here and go to sleep. So, laundry has been getting done, but it has, it's been getting done, it's been getting folded, but it has not been put away. Y'all look at that. That is my dresser with the clean laundry all over it. Like I said, I've actually got you, I'm not kidding, I actually got you sitting on more clothes right now that I need to put away that just came out of the dryer and got folded. So I'm gonna take a few minutes while everybody's quiet and kind of occupied and get all of these clothes put away. Cause like I said, my room has been neglected more than any room in the house, I think. Well, this room and probably the school room cause I've been letting the kids come here and do crafts and things like that, which that's for another day, another time. Right now I'm gonna focus on my bedroom. <laughs> It's done, finally. I think it took me like 30 minutes. It was messier than I thought. So my dresser's all cleaned off, got all the clothes put away. That bag over there in the corner is holding Josh's clothes. I need to go to the dry cleaners. I got the carpets vacuumed. Vacuumed under the bassinet, all of that. That was that had stuff on it. I bring water cups up here at night so I can drink water through the night when I get thirsty. So I got that cleaned off. So my little nightstand's cleaned off. Bed is made. Josh's nightstand is cleaned off. Got all the clothes picked up out of the floor over here. Finally, finally, finally. I have been wanting to tackle this room since um, shortly after I had her, but I just have not made it up this way because, you know, I've been busy. <laughs> so she did fall asleep in Emily's arms. So sweet. She fell asleep. We decided to come outside just for a few minutes. There's got the ceiling fan on. There's a nice little breeze. We don't stay out here for too long at a time with it being summer and pretty hot. But. We're so ready for fall. Like I am so ready for fall. It's one of my favorite seasons because the weather's like perfect here. You get to bring out all of your fall stuff and the pumpkin spice. I just love fall. She's trying to fall back asleep, old mama. Look at Hetsy, are you trying to fall back asleep? Huh? So y'all tell me, are you ready for fall and what's your favorite season? I have a hard time between fall and winter. They're both my favorite because fall the weather's perfect and winter you get to do the fireplace on the coziness and it's Christmas. So it's a tie between fall and winter for me. All right, so it's about 6.30 now, it's after dinner. We ended up just doing some cinnamon rolls, bacon, eggs, strawberries for dinner tonight, and it was good. So that's over with. Most of the cleanup's done, we got a little bit left to clean up. Um, the painter is done in the basement. He has three more walls in the bedroom, and it looks great. Like, I love how it turned out. So once it's completely finished, I'll show y'all. I love the gray. So tomorrow, he's coming back to finish up the basement, and then he's gonna come up here upstairs and start up here. So we got a lot of work ahead of us tonight. Um, when Josh gets back, 
we have to take all the pictures off the walls, kind of move things away from the walls, um, and put it up so that he can be up here painting tomorrow. And I don't really want us to be in here in his way while he's painting. So I'm trying to think of some things for us to go do tomorrow. I know Callie has violin at 3.15. I would, I would usually do grocery pickup tomorrow, but um, with him being in here, it's going to be hard to put groceries away, so I'm going to have to push that out another day. So I don't know. We'll just figure it out tomorrow. I'm just going to try to stay out, find things to do tomorrow so that we're not here in his way. And if we do come home, I guess we'll just go to the basement um, and give him his space so that he can get around and move and paint because, you know, with 10 people running around in here, it's not going to be that easy to paint. So anyway. But it's Natalie's turn to hold the baby. <laughs> her little shirt showing her belly. It's showing her belly. Yes, it is. Oh, Natalie, you're doing such a good job holding her. Such a good big sister. Everybody loves to pass around Millie. Everybody Mama. loves to pass around Millie. Mama. What? Foot spring. Oh, it's not. Baby's feet just peel like that when they're really little. Their feet start peeling. But anyway, if y'all remember on last night's vlog, I went to Hobby Lobby and got a few fall decorations. And I said, I wasn't sure if I was gonna put them up or wait until I got out my box of fall things. I could wait, y'all. I didn't want to stick it in the closet. So I went ahead and set out the few things that I got. Um, my favorite is the mantle. It's just super simple, but it's pretty. So I'm gonna show it to you. So here it is. Like I said, super simple, but super pretty. It's just the orange burlap all the way across our mantle. And this little sign that I got Hobby Lobby, it says autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. It went right there. I think it turned out perfect. Like I said, it's simple. I may eventually get like maybe a couple of candles to go up there or something. Um, but yeah, I just like the way it turned out. <laughs> 